It is June 10th, 2019. I'm sorry, July 10th, 2019. We're here at 4462 Campus Drive in San Diego, California, 92116. We're here on the rooftop of the building. There are four units here. We're at the very front unit, and there's another single unit, and then a duplex behind there. We're going to go ahead and inspect the main sewer line. Um, you can see here we have original cast iron vent. Um, the vent pipe here is actually cracked. Um, now this is again above the rooftop line here. Here's our flashing. So not much of an issue, but just to show you the age of this pipe here. Now we looked in the crawl space of the units and in all the crawl spaces we could see that all the drain lines, the two inch drain lines, were all replaced with uh, newer plastic ABS. So we'll see if the entire main was also replaced or not. So I don't see any crack or fissure lines right here on this part of the vent. So again, it looks like it just was exposed up to the rooftop there, it had that little crack or fissure line. You can see we're now in plastic pipe. So they actually did change out, it appears, um, a uh, good portion of the sewer main as well. It's a very tight crawl space. We didn't go all the way in, so we couldn't tell. But So here's where the toilet dumps in the line right there. That's the T-junction on the left. So they actually even changed it vertically above a little bit. Um, and so they've got this all changed out. All the wet pipe, sewer pipe, is changed out right there. So we are in sewer line right now. There's a T-junction right there you can see on the right. That's picking up all the other drains inside the unit. We're now continuing in the crawl space of this unit headed towards the back. So it appears that of course the sewer goes to the alleyway. This has all been upgraded to newer plastic pipe. So a little bit of a area holding water right here. Sometimes when the pipe is put in, they don't check perfectly with a little level, so you get a little pocket of what we call a sag or a belly to the line. Um, it's very minimal, so unless we see a very deep one or with a bunch of debris in it, then we get concerned. Otherwise, um, what we just saw is not a big deal. Okay, so now here's another T-junction, so you can see we're about 37 feet out. So this T-junction right here should be picking up the kitchen of the neighboring unit because as we pass to the next unit, the first um, thing you encounter is the kitchen drain line and then it goes to the bathroom. So this is all new ABS plastic. Here's picking up the bathroom of the second unit here. And the toilet dumping into the line there. So again, another little bit of sagger belly to the line here. You can see it's holding water. We'll see how long this lasts. This one's a little deeper than the first one. And we're coming out of that for a turn in the line right here. So again, not much of an issue that we'd be overly concerned about. Um, but you can see there is that little piece. We've made that little turn on the system right here and now headed across. Coupling there. It looks like we have another turn right here. So uh, after we um, went through these first two units, there are two units on the back. So it's a single unit, single unit, and then a little duplex. in a row can get a little stiff there. We may have to run some water through the line. Now we did notice that in between the duplex and the garages we do have a clean out back there. So if we can get to that clean out, which we only saw one, and we don't know if they put in a two-way uh, from that single piece, which you're not supposed to, or if it only sweeps outward. Uh, what we're going to do though in the meantime is we're going to go ahead and pause the video. Um, we're going to push a little bit of our cable back in. So we're Right at about 65 feet out, we're going to go ahead and run some water down the line to see if we can get our camera out uh, further uh, before we attempt to go uh, from the other clean out or another rooftop. 
Okay, so you guys see we've got water running in the whole first unit. We're going to see if this helps get our camera out a little bit further before moving the whole system. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to push this out too much further. Unfortunately, those two 90s uh, relatively close to each other but far out um, are really going to inhibit this from smoothly being pushed out. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and move over to the, um, the duplex rooftop um, to see uh, where our camera's at and put a second camera down the system. Okay, so we moved our camera from that rooftop. We're now in the middle building and here's the duplex here. So we got our camera initially from that unit across this unit. Here's the toilet vent above the bathroom. And then as we pan over to the north side of the building here, essentially, that's where the line came out. They made the 290s and actually was on the walkway on the north side of this unit. And that's where we located our camera where we stopped. So we're now going to go through this vent here and see if we can get through those 290s a little bit better because it's still before the duplex. So here's the conversion to plastic. That's the little sag belly we went through earlier. Okay, so our recording was uh, accidentally paused, I believe, as we were pushing through here. So I apologize. The um, our internal hard drive started to overheat here on the rooftop. So. Anyway, we've pushed out to a little over 70 feet here. We're completely underwater. We've been this way for quite a bit. We'll pull back on the system to show this here in case it didn't show up on the initial recording here. So we're backing up on the system right here. Um, we're completely underwater, unfortunately. So something is wrong with this line. Either there's a very bad sag or belly, or we have a very severe drain stoppage coming up ahead that we haven't gotten to and couldn't push out that far up to. So. So right here you can see at about this 63 foot mark you can see some really heavy buildup in the beginning of the pool of water. So um, we got this really bad area pocket here. I'm trying to get our camera through as best as we can this kind of distance with the turn we've made. So, So again, right here we're going to go ahead and stop and locate the line and see where we're at in relation to the back duplex as well as the one clean out that we saw that was beyond the duplex before you get to the garages. Okay, so you can see we have water running right now and um, we located where we're at. We are um, on the back side, um, the north side and back corner, so essentially the northwest corner of the duplex where this line is. So this line was essentially when it was replaced was rerouted again along the north walkway and trying to get around because they didn't go through uh, under the buildings uh, to get from here to the duplex. So a little bit further here with the water running see how much further we can keep getting. See if we come out of this sag or belly. Okay, so you can see we now we have the tub, the sinks both running right now, so we have three fixtures, so there's some water churning through the system, but we should still have a view, so Unfortunately, I have a feeling this sag or belly is continue for majority of the way. Uh, we were at about 30 inches deep at the 73 foot mark 10 feet ago. And when we pop the clean out, uh, that's all the way around the corner from the duplex. It's not extremely deep past that three foot mark, probably even less than that. So we're not sure if they were able to achieve proper slope. So it does appear that everything's draining out. So it's not a stoppage. It appears that um, the pipe was not installed properly with downhill slope um, the entire path. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video here.
means we cannot get out any further based on the turns, the distance, and the uphill slope. Um, and we're going to go ahead and see where we're at and mark a depth. And then we'll go ahead and, and check the remaining line from the duplex um, and see if that is clear all the way out. Okay, so you can see right here, we're at that 90 degree elbow, so we're on the north side of the property where they rerouted the line uh, from the front two units, and we're actually at the elbow where the one that's running um, along the north side is going to make essentially a left hand turn, and it's going to run south along the west side in between the duplex and the garages that then tap into that part of the system. Uh, there's no clean outs along this part of the run, so if it's not going to be repaired or replaced, then the bare minimum uh, clean outs would need to be put in, and that would be back at the 60, uh, 20 feet in front of where we're at. We'll mark that. Um, so right here where this pipe is at, we've got it marked with some chalk on the uh, side of the building, um, and it is 23 inches deep. So now what we're going to do, as you can see, we're under complete water here. We're going to back up 10 feet to 12 feet, which means we should be 3 inches higher up. So, right at about that 70 foot mark, we're going to go ahead and now and pause the video and locate this and mark it and see what our depth reading is. Okay, so we pull back a little over 12 feet and we basically are at 24 inches deep. So, um, that 12 feet in front of us or so where the turn was, we were at 23 inches. We're only an inch back. Um, so we can see this is already part of the problem is that um, this should have been three inch difference in depth and we're only one full inch. Um, now, obviously the other main part of the problem is as we continue beyond that 90, which we cannot get, um, that's where the pipe is going to be even higher, unfortunately, as you go farther along, which it should be lower. So um, that's um, our issue right here. So we're going to back up to the initial part of this sag belly, which is again about 8, 10 feet in front of where we just stopped. So you can see we're completely underwater here the whole way. So it drained out um, and things moved through the system, but that's also why you've got all that buildup right here in the system. Um, because all the grease, food, sludge, and everything else is caking to the walls of the pipe because it's not moving down and out of the system properly. So right here is the very, almost essentially the beginning of the line. We're going to back up a little bit further. You see some more debris being held up there. So here we have a full-on straight piece of the pipe that's draining out properly. This is where some clean-outs need to be installed if the line's not going to be corrected so that it can be maintained and if they have a stoppage easily cleaned out since there's no other clean out accesses. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and mark and locate this on the property. Okay so we moved down to the ground level with a second camera and so again we're here on the north side of the units and uh, right past that green fence there of the second units where the line comes out and then it runs along essentially where you see this green garden hose that is the path of the sewer pipe now you can see right here we made a marking with chalk 21 inches deep that's the depth of the pipe and as we pan across here we made another reading here and it's 24 inches deep and it continues over and kind of hard to see from here but where that rock bed ends and the brick stepping stone bricks start that's where the line makes the left hand turn right past the first brick and the pipe is 23 inches deep there. So essentially we're going from 21 to 24 and then we go to 23. So we actually aren't getting deeper and so that's why we've got that water standing. So right where the 21 inch uh, mark is, that's where the clean outs need to be put if you're not going to correct this problem. Um, and then across there and then we don't know past that 90 um, the depth across but we're going to go up onto the rooftop of this duplex now and show this part of the system okay so we're now on the rooftop of the duplex here and here's our garages and past the garages the alleyway so if we look over the side here those red bricks right there we're showing that's the corner where the other line from the two units was rerouted it makes that uh, left turn essentially to then come across as it heads over and right where you see those four stepping stone bricks there scattered the red ones 
uh, that right in front of the doorway entrance there, that's where there's an ABS clean out uh, to the sewer main that was, was installed. So we're now going to go down through this duplex sewer pipe here. This is the vent. We're going to go ahead and inspect. Here's all the conversion to plastic. Here's the T-junctions. Here's our turn on the system. And now head it out. There's a little turn on the system. And here we have another little swivel turn. I don't know if this is getting close to that clean out. It's dropping over the top. There we go. Okay, so here's that clean out T right here. So as we kind of back up, there's the T junction right there for the clean out that was put in. And as we back up right here, to the right side, that's the T junction where the other sewer is is dumping in for the front two units. So we're going to go ahead and, and before we continue down the line, we're going to go ahead and position our camera right here. And this is essentially where the depth of the other main um, has to connect into. So we're going to check a depth reading to mark that. So we're going to pause the video. Okay, so we have located this depth here where the pipe is uh, tying in and it it is unfortunately two feet deep. It is 24 inches deep, which is the same depth reading we got on the side of the uh, building uh, 40 feet away from here. So uh, for traveling 40 feet, we'd have to fall about 10 inches in depth. You have to fall a quarter inch for every foot you travel. So for every four feet, you have to fall an inch to have proper slope to code. Sometimes you can get away with sometimes half of that and do an eighth of an inch just to make it functional if it's in a weird position and a really tough situation to try to achieve that and if it's not being inspected by the city. So uh, you would still have to fall um, about five to six inches and we don't have that. We have basically um, uh, right around about three inches um, at the one spot, um, but uh, that's again our locators um, relatively can still be off within half to one inch, so it could even be less than that. So that's the problem why they have that big sag belly. So now just continue down the line. So you can see right here it goes right back into cast iron. So a um, little lip right there where it comes up and over, and Looks like there might be some small fine roots trying to grow in from there, unless that's some other debris. Let me see what we've got here, if we can... Got all this standing water here. Let's see... Right there we can see on the attachment the little bit of roots on the right hand side, some really small fine roots. Um, not a real clean transition, um, kind of hanging up there on the cast iron. A um, little bit of standing water here in the system as well. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera to go out here. Looks like the top of the pipe has some debris in it. There we go. Our camera's kind of facing up. Um, hard to see. That might be some more roots intruding in the system, possibly. Um, yeah, we've got a little roots hanging out all over the walls of the pipe. You can see there all those little small black uh, pieces are roots that are lining the pipe. So unfortunately, the cast iron is failing. Um, now this is already under the slab of the garage so there are the doors are numbered we're essentially under the number two door of the uh, garage and um, you'd have to jackhammer and saw cut all this concrete to replace this but this has all roots intruding in it which means the cast iron is crumbling and failing allowing the roots to get in that's probably why the other pipes were all replaced for other reasons as well I'm sure so this line has all those roots intruding. Let's see if we can continue to get our camera out from here. Otherwise, we'll move down to the clean out. There we go.
don't see as many roots right here. Um, but the thing about cast iron, especially this old, of course, is when you go to cut into it, there's no guarantee it's going to survive and be able to be attached back into you. So even though there's no more roots, it doesn't mean that the pipe isn't as fragile and as weak across this entire run and might be difficult um, to find quality pipe to reconnect back into. But we're finding it a little bit difficult to push across here with all these turns again from the rooftops since um, no accesses uh, around the unit. So we're going to pull back and locate and mark those roots where they kind of stopped for sure visibility wise. Um, although there could be some small other areas they're trying to get through. Uh, so we'll back up here. She and me. Just want to make sure we're not missing any really small fine ones that are along the wall of the pipe. Sometimes they can be hard to see if they're just growing in. Okay, so there's some small ones right there, and there's the little... So, to this point right here, we know at the bare minimum, we're going to go ahead and push out just past this to this 39-foot mark. So right here is the bare minimum you'd have to replace to get rid of the roots that are intruding in that failing cast iron. They're probably going to have to go further, but we're going to pause and locate and mark this out. Okay, so we went ahead and marked where all these roots are in the cast iron pipe. Um, and again, we, we pulled back just a little bit here, but um, it's about seven feet into the garage. So seven feet of concrete at the bare minimum would have to be saw cut and dug up. The pipe is almost 30 inches deep, so about two and a half feet deep. Um, and you got another 10 feet of garage stuff to go across before you get to the alleyway. So we've marked this uh, in the garage with roots, the path of the pipe, and the depth. We're now going to go ahead and pull back this camera and go from the clean out to get the rest of the way out to the city. Okay, so we're going back through this three inch clean out here. Uh, recording might have stopped for a second there due to some overheating. So again, here's our roots intruding um, in the cast iron pipe. Um, and this is just um, as you're entering the garage, we got all that standing water, and then we got a little bit more roots hanging up on the top of the pipe there. You can see all these roots right here. These are marked out under the concrete slab in the garage at about 30 inches deep. And then as we pass these roots, we're going to go through the last bit of the cast iron here, headed back out. And we know coming up here at about the 30 foot mark here or so we've got one more uh, small root intrusion that's starting to get in the system and then just a foot after that the system ends so here you can see we've got some roots in the line where the cast iron is kind of flaking and coming apart unfortunately see the flaking on the upper right there here's the roots that are getting into the system right here and then here's already the end of this cast iron line and then this is all the new plastic that the city put in and this runs all the way out turns here another quick turn coming up and there's the city right there so we're going to back up to where the plastic and cast iron make their connection and that would be where everything has to be eventually replaced or relined so there's those roots here's the end of the system we're going to go ahead and pause right here and locate this okay so we've marked this spot where the cast iron ends and right where the roots are getting in this is 32 inches deep uh, this is um, in not into the full alleyway, it's just in front of the garages on the edge. So from the garage door out, um, it's almost about five feet out. Um, and right after that's the, then the full on alleyway itself. So we've marked this with a chalk denoting the roots, the path of the pipe, and the transition from cast iron to this plastic. So that concludes this recording.